it's the start of Legacy Pack Week, I will be opening over the next consecutive six days Invasion of Chaos, Dark Crisis, Pharaoh's Servant, Spell Ruler, Metal Raiders, and Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon. So guys, 24 packs, I'll be cracking these open and giving away a beautiful Dark Magician of Chaos is what I will be giving away to one lucky viewer of this video. Just leave a comment, like this video, and you must be a subscriber. So everybody's opening these right now, guys, so I hope this video doesn't bore you. Um, 24 packs, this is a booster box worth of Invasion of Chaos. I wanna see if it's worth opening these just for the sense of fun, for the sense of nostalgia. Monetarily, is it worth it? Because these packs are around about three pounds a pack here in the UK. Will we profit? Will we not? Let's find out. So my buddy Playtime Yugi actually got five of these packs for me to open for him. So let's just randomly pick out his packs and let's crack his packs open first. So guys, I will be box breaking all of the six legacy sets. Uh, make sure that you drop me a message if you want to get involved over the next couple of days with any of the following sets. Of course, Dark Crisis, Pharaoh's Servant, LOB, whatever it may be. So these five packs that I'm opening now belong to my buddy, Playtime Yu-Gi-Oh. Playtime Yu-Gi-Oh, I should say. So like I say, guys, if you want to get involved, just drop me a message and uh, we'll sort out your packs. So I really want to see something good out of Invasion of Chaos, guys. Let's see what we can pull. I think Chaos Emperor Dragon has been pulled, but not on video. I'm still quietly hoping that there's going to be like some sort of Starlight Rare inside of these packs, but hey, you never know. One can only dream. Because we haven't actually seen masses of these being opened yet. Well, I'm talking about cases and cases and cases. But I'm sure somebody would have pulled one by now if that would have been the case. So no foil so far for playtime. I saw Team Samurai's video. He opened so many of these. And he barely got any foils. I think they're quite stingy on the foil ratios, guys. Not everybody's going to get insane cards. But I do have quite a few of these guys. So we will be opening until we pull something epic. There's Orca Mega Fortress of Darkness. Pretty nice. Um, but there are some really cool cards in, obviously, Invasion of Chaos. That's nice. Orca. Last pack for my buddy Playtime Yugi. Let's see if we can pull him. Maybe an Ultra Rare. That'd be nice. Energy Drain. Recycle. Primal Seed. Multiplication of Ants. And a Satsuki Samurai with Gigantes. Witch Doctor of Chaos. Des Kangaroo. And be gone. No. For now, it's my 19 packs to make up the booster box. We've only pulled one Super Rare so far. Will we contain anything else out of here? So a Jade. Insect Whistle, Burning Algae, G -g Giga Gaga -g Gigo, Dark Diceratops, and the Black Luster Soldier, Envoy of the Beginning, guys. Let's go. That is the best Ultra Rare in the set. I've just pulled myself a Black Luster Soldier. Okay, uh, insane. So that was definitely worth it for me already. Uh, shame my buddy didn't pull that, because that would have been a really nice card to add to, uh, to his collection, I'm sure. Cursed Seal of the Forbidden Spells, Sea Serpent Warrior of Darkness, Sylphid, Recycle, and a Berserk Gorilla with a dedication through light and darkness with our Demok over there on the artwork of that. Pretty nice. Nice boost pack. These are incredibly fun to open and they're so cheap. So again, guys, if you haven't opened any of this setup, I would recommend it because it's just hella fun and pretty much nostalgia. You're getting a pajamas, guys, in packs. It's just insane. Even though I believe Ojama Yellow came out in... Sorry, Ojama Green came out in Dark Crisis? Was Ojama Green the first Ojama to be released? Let me know, guys, down in the comments. Um, which Ojama came out first with Black? What does Green also come in Invasion of Chaos? I don't actually know. Anyway, Hyper Hammerhead. I want to see something else. Another Guardian Angel Joan. This card loves me. We pulled this um, in yesterday's video. Pretty nice, though. Guardian Angel Joan. Next pack, IOC, Legacy Week, guys. As I said, throughout the remaining days uh, following, so in five more days, we'll be opening Dark Crisis next, then Pharaoh Servant, then Spell Ruler, and then Metal Raiders and LOB. So make sure if you love these packs and you just love to sit back and see the pulls that you tune in over the next coming days because we will be doing daily videos, which is something I don't really do. And as I say, you can get involved and purchase some of these packs if you want to hit me up on Instagram. You'll be involved as my buddy was today. Here we go. I think we've got something, guys. No, we don't. It's just a Chaos Necromancer. I remember trying to mess around with this card when I was a kid. Uh, gains 300 for every monster in your graveyard. I tried to get as many uh, monsters in there as possible, but for it to even be 3,000, you need 10 monsters. So, yeah, it, it was never that good. But I tried messing around with it. Smashing Ground, I think, was a pretty popular card back in the day, along with the likes of Hammer Shot from Soul of the Doors. So was Berserk Gorilla, 
and Witch Doctor of Chaos. So two ultras so far and a spell. I'm really curious to see what the booster boxes contain. Maybe those booster boxes contain the elusive 25th anniversary slash Starlight Rare inside of them, like versions of maybe Blue Eyes White Dragon, Blue Eyes Toon Dragon, who knows? It's still hope. Like I say, quietly confident that that is still the case. When I'm opening these, I'm still thinking, will there be a 25th anniversary Blue Eyes or like Chaos Ember Dragon in here? But again, probably not. Okay, haven't seen a foil in a while since our Angel Joan. What else can we pull? Let's see. Soul Absorption, Spirit of the Pot of Greed, Berserk Gorilla. We've pulled a lot of Berserk Gorillas. Konami really like Berserk Gorilla. Again with the Smashing Ground, Burning Algae, Giga Gaga Gigo. Here we go. <gasps> Guys. Invader of Darkness. Okay. I saw that secret rare name and that kind of reminded me of Ghost Rare because it is also like a secret rare name on Ghosties. We have pulled a secret, we've pulled two ultras, so basically we've already got our booster box worth. Let's see what our last five or six packs have in store for us. Zero Gravity, Curse of Darkness, and Molten Zombie. IOC, Invasion of Chaos, guys. Freed the Brave Wanderer. I also want to collect one of every of these cards and just complete the 25th anniversary sets. I think that'd be really good fun. And I'm definitely going to be building goat decks with the cards that we pulled today. So if you don't know what goat is, guys, it's like obviously greatest of all time. But what that means is you build a deck up until I think like the 2000 and I want to say 2006 or 2005, uh, maybe even end of 2004. And I don't know too much about goat, guys. I've never actually competed in a goat format duel uh, before. Um, or tournament or mini game But um, definitely should should look into that because I really want to play some old-school Yu-Gi-Oh with my friends <sighs> Dark Mirror Force! Yo, we pulled Mirror Force literally yesterday. We now we pulled Dark Mirror Force. That's a really good one to tick off the uh, Tick off the list really nice another ultra and our last pack of Invasion of Chaos I hope you enjoyed it guys, then we will move on to Dark Crisis tomorrow Heart of the Underdog, good card, and oh, big burn, nice. You can actually see a bit of the artwork on this card, because this is pretty difficult to see. Oh, the two Ajamas coming together there. We just need Ajama Green, pretty nice big burn. So out of 24 packs, we did get a Black Luster Soldier, a Seeker and Vader of Darkness, and two more Ultras with three Supers. If you enjoyed the video, guys, drop a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow for Dark Crisis.